Hi guys, welcome back to another video. So as you've probably already guessed from the title of this video, I am on the way to Ibiza. I'm currently sat in Beaconsfield Services, just outside of London. It is 5 p.m., just finished work, and the lads have just dropped me back off at the van. I'm on the way down to Folkestone uh, to catch the Euro Tunnel. It's about, looking at the sat-nav now, two hours away from me. Um, then we'll see how far down through France we can get tonight. Um, not sure where to stop yet, but I'll find somewhere decent. I want to try and drive till at least sort of 2 a.m. Um, so it leaves me with less driving tomorrow. And yeah, we'll we'll see how it goes. I'll, uh, I've got the GoPro on the dash, so I'll get some um, do do some little time lapses of of the drive and uh, you know getting through the um, the training stuff. If anyone's never been on the Euro Tunnel and they're interested, um, you get to you'll get to see what that's like. So yeah, hopefully fingers crossed the traffic's good, everything goes smoothly, and I will see you on the other side of the channel in front. later so of course with this being England um, it was never going to be plain sailing it's basically standstill traffic it has been the whole way classic M25 so make sure you give yourself loads of time if you're going to be doing this because M25 on a Friday at sort of what is it 620 is not the place you want to be. Everyone just seems to be crashing, breaking down, you name it, it's happening.
Right then, I've made it to the tunnel. Um, I'm just going through the sort of departure area. They've let me on early, so I'm on a train that's about an hour and a half earlier than the one I should be on, which is nice. So that's the perks of arriving early. The train's about 25, uh, sorry, about 35 minutes long. So in about an hour's time, I should be over the other side into France. Just in the queue now for the train. I'll be getting on any minute. In fact, I'm getting on now, so I'll see you on there. We're on the train. It takes about 35 minutes. Just take a while to load up um, and to get people off it. The train itself is about 35 minutes. Got remaining vehicles, uh, engines off, windows open. Uh, there is toilets on the train if you need the toilet. But yeah, it's, I say 35 minutes and you're on the other side. We are an hour ahead in France, so I shall change the times on the van so I've got accurate time while I'm sat here now. And we will continue. Right then, we're in France. Um, just at the services, it is actually shut at the minute, unfortunately. Last time I came here, it was open, so I won't be getting a coffee. Uh, there's two routes that I'm going to take. Sorry, there's two routes that I could take. One includes toll roads, and one doesn't. So I'm going to go on the route without toll roads. Two reasons for this one being I'm on my own, and it's a bit of a pain in the arse to keep reaching over and up, especially when I'm in a lowered van to pay the toll. And number two, it's going to save me about 150 euros. Uh, last time I did this a couple of years ago, that's about how much it cost in tolls. So we're going to go no toll routes. It is about three hours slower, three to four hours slower um, than the other route, but it is 150 euros cheaper. So sort of, you know, you make your mind up on what you want to do. As for now, I'm going to get cracking. I'm going to try and get about another three hours driving under my belt, and then I'll probably have a little nap. It's about half past one. I've just stopped for some classic French cuisine uh, for lunch. I thought I'd give you a little update. So we are about, I think I've done about six or seven hours driving this morning, um, which takes the total travel time up to about 13 hours so far. I've still got about 11 hours to go till the ferry. The van is running absolutely perfect. No problems at all. Uh, really really smooth yeah, honestly yeah really happy with it it's a big test for it especially considering the furthest it's really ever been is sort of two hour runs um, selected it for the first time last night really comfortable you know just to bits with the bed it was a cooler it's, qu it's a little bit cooler in northern France at the minute so it wasn't a warm it wasn't a, a very hot night last night so I was nice and comfortable so we'll see how it gets when the weather's a bit warmer down south but yeah, absolutely chuffed to bits at the minute. The uh, I found I managed to find a sort of managed to find a cheap um, petrol station. So I paid about I think it was 170 euros for diesel a litre, which works out to about one one pound sixty. I filled the tank, got about um, 90 euros in it. That was about 85 pounds, sort of 80 quid. And at the minute, I've only used about a quarter. So you've still got three quarters of the, the tank left. Um, so I'm expecting to get all the way on this one tank of fuel at the minute. So the economy is really good. Uh, it's only a 1.9 diesel, as you'd expect it, it'd be good, but it's, a, it's an older van. It's only got five gears, but it's still doing really well. I'll work out the total sort of, the total mileage and the total cost per mile at the end, obviously. It's hard to do that now, but really, yeah, it's, it's I'm pretty happy with it. I'm going to... Uh, eat this and then I'll get on with the last stage of the run uh, we'll do 11 hours straight probably won't stop to be fair because arrival time is at about half past midnight and I want to get as much sleep as I can before the ferry in the morning okay sit rep made it to Spain so this is the Spanish border I came through a nice little route through the Pyrenees um, the massive tunnel Never been this way before, so thought I'd change it up. Uh, lost a bit of time in France, so around um, Bordeaux, really bad traffic on the ring road. Well, it's not a ring road, but it's like a ring road. And, and then there was an accident coming off that as well, so we lost about an hour. I managed to gain some back with some spirited driving through the Pyrenees, but the current ETA, we've got four hours left to Valencia, and ETA is at 20 to what? Uh, 22 in the morning. I've got a quarter of a tank of fuel um, 
just debating whether to put some in here, but it's a bit pricey here, so I think I'll carry on and see if I can find a cheaper station. But we might make it. Uh, the van's been doing really well on fuel, so I, I know that's from my driving through the mountains. So we might even make that four hours. It's about, I think we've got about 500 kilometers left, so we'll see. Um, yeah, I'm fueled up. Just carry on for another four hours. So let's get to it.
the next day. Right then, first night in the van went really well. First night in Ibiza went really well. This is where we've parked, as you can see. Not bad views. There she is over there, look. So, just going for a little walk, just going to get some water. Just enjoying the sunrise. It's about 9 a.m. here and it's already sort of 27 degrees. This morning I'm going to walk around the coast. I've turned the camera around. So we're going to walk along this path. This is the Sunset Strip as it's known. Well, that's the Sunset Strip. We're a little bit past it now. I'm going to walk down here. We're going to walk right around the front. A few kilometres that way forwards. And eventually we're going to end up at the top of that hill. Over there. Let me just put my little finger on. Just about there, that's where we're going to get to. Then we're going to go back down, grab some breakfast. Fully sucked up with fluids. And yeah, just enjoy a bit of a uh, relaxing time in the sun. Mad little geckos running about. Sucking loads of pear. What am I? Scenes. Fucking hard, hard walk, hard trek up but well worth it for the view, in my opinion. You get an amazing look over all the island. Obviously you can't see the whole thing, but uh, today I'm gonna be heading over there, just over those hills, to a lovely little beach, really tucked away. Um, but before that, I'm gonna head back down there, get some club tickets, Get some breakfast and get a shower. I'm going to bring the video to an end here and enjoy my holiday. Thanks so much for watching if you've watched this far. Um, if you subscribe to the channel, thanks very much as well. You know, really appreciate the support. If you're not, I'd like to ask you to hit the subscribe button if you can. It doesn't mean anything to you, but it means something to me. Annoyingly, my um, media card corrupted and I lost so much footage absolutely good to the it. there was so many good shots some great driving roads saw some awesome cars on the way down but you live and you learn lesson is don't buy the cheapest possible storage on amazon spend money on good quality storage absolutely chuffed to bits that the vans made it this far considering eight months ago it was in bits I had no suspension, no wheels, no brakes, no bodywork. <laughs> and eight months later, it's just completed an absolutely mammoth drive to Ibiza. And I'm sure it'll make it back as well. It had not been on the road for years. I'd had it two years and it hadn't been driven. I think checking the history of it, it had not been sort of on the road for at least three years before me. So five years later, it's back on the road running better than ever and hopefully for many many years to come thanks for watching the, the progress so far and hopefully when i come back i'll be able to get the van completed and we'll move on to another project so yeah once again thanks for, for getting this far if you have um please drop us a comment if you've got anything you want to say if you've been to rv for before got any, any ideas on on where to go please like the video if you like the video and really appreciate it if you're not already and you're watching, you've watched a couple of my videos, then please subscribe to the channel.